Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and I've got two products here that I want to show you from editorskeys.com. Now Editors Keys make a lot of great products to do with video editing, audio reproduction including things like microphones. They also make these custom keyboards and they make them for various applications. Now I happen to be an Apple Final Cut Pro 10 user so they kindly sent me a couple of their keyboards for Final Cut Pro 10 to look at. Now this particular one is their cheaper option. This one comes in at £59.99 or $96 if you're in the US. Three year warranty with it, works with Mac or PC. If you look around the back, there's some extra details here and then also some product specifications. And it says here, compatible with all versions of Final Cut Pro 10, Mac OS 10.3 or higher, Windows XP, Vista or 7 compatible. So let's get this first one unboxed. Now do stay tuned right to the end of this video because uh, certainly in the second half I'm going to be showing you another keyboard from Editor's Keys. This one's really nicely presented. You can see here it's finished in black. Let's take this out and pop the package into one side. And here we go. This is what you would expect for just under £60 from Editor's Keys. Now before I show you the keyboard up a little bit closer, we've got a standard USB cable coming out of the back. Let's look on the underside. On the underside we've got some rubberized feet, very nicely presented. And this little portion here sort of gives some angle to the keyboard when it's on the desk. Back around the front, we've got a standard sort of QWERTY keypad. So we've still got uh, the, the normal letters you would expect on a keyboard, but all of the color coding and the additional writing are shortcuts for Final Cut Pro 10. Very, very nicely printed, and it just really makes editing so, so much faster when you're using this application. Off to the right here, of course, you've got a full-size numeric keypad as well. The keys are nicely spaced. This is a tiny, tiny bit smaller than a standard Apple keyboard. Not by much, probably by about two centimeters. I'll show you a standard keyboard in a, in a moment but the actual key response is very good. They're very well spaced. They're the same size, I think, as a normal keyboard as well. It's just the spacing has been changed very slightly and it just is a joy to use. It is a great keyboard. Some of the buttons have been moved around a little bit from a standard keyboard and again, I'll show you the difference in a short while. So let's move on and show you the second keyboard that the editor's keys do. Again, this is a Final Cut Pro 10 keyboard but this is a standard Apple keyboard that's been modified. So this is their premium range. This is gonna cost you £89.99, or if you're in the US, $144. Just to show you the point, this is an Apple keyboard that has been modified. It's got the USB sockets on either side, as you can see, and the standard USB cable coming out of the back. And I wanted to show you the difference between the two if I just put them side by side here, you can see that the uh, cheaper version has had some keys moved around and is probably about two key widths smaller. So this is a cheaper version, two key widths smaller, smaller space bar, and some of the keys have been repositioned. But this particular one, the premium one, which is gonna cost you a little bit more money, is exactly the same quality as you would expect from a normal Apple keyboard because it is just a modification. It's had the keys color coded again. Very, very nice printing on the keys with the normal letters and all of the shortcuts for your application. Now, I keep mentioning this, you can get this keyboard and the cheaper one for other applications and the fact that you've got all of these shortcuts on such as like the blade tool, disable clip, select clip, snapping toggle marker, just makes things so, so much quicker when you're actually editing. So just to recap, let's take a look, a quick look again at the cheaper version. This one here is gonna cost you £59.99 or $96. It is a great feeling keyboard, very good if you're on a budget and nice actually that it's got a little bit more compact size you'll get a little bit more desk room with this keyboard and then the slightly dearer one coming in at the 89 pounds 99 mark or 144 dollars is the premium keyboard now these two are for final cut pro 10 and they really do make editing 
so much easier. You really do need to check these out. And if you use another application, check out editorskeys.com. You'll probably find that they do a keyboard for you. So thanks very much for watching. Please do hit that like button. Please do subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Thank you.